What's up guys, Togo here, welcome back to more Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we went through the uh, low tide part of the Shoal Cave, and in this episode, we'll be going through the high tide. Now we, I believe we got all four Shoal something or others. Um, where are Shoal Salt. So we have to get the Shoal Shells now, um, which we should be able to do. We'll start off by heading over here. Uh, you can just surf onto the stairs somehow, however that makes sense. And looks like we... Oh, I had a repel going, I didn't even realize. Well, yes, we'll keep that going just because I really don't want to bother. And I guess the hidden item's just over here. We have a star piece, that's nice. That will pay for the repel I just used, I guess. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded some of this. Last week I had the Complex Draw City mashup EP going up. Just because I was very busy. And it was a good time to do that, so... Uh, yeah, now we'll be back to regular updates. There is literally nothing here except hopping down from up there, so just a way back, but really irrelevant. And over here, uh, looks like we have two cave entrances, so we'll head in here first. We'll go through the one in the water later, just because something tells me that's more of like a... Something tells me that's more of like a way back, though I'm not 100% sure. And we're already back to getting freezes, which is just fantastic. So here we have a shoal shell. Now the items are supposed to regenerate like once a day or something like that, so that you can, I guess, get more shell bells. Not that I'm really sure why you would need more, but I mean, I guess if you want to get multiple, that's what you do. So that's two down right next to each other, kind of not very well hidden. I believe getting the uh, shells is a little bit easier than getting the salts, um, though I could be completely wrong. Oh, I didn't even realize this was somewhere you could land. And yes, we'll use another repel. Uh, I'm using super repels. So okay, I was wondering what kind it was. Uh, okay, so up here, yeah, see up here is the third one. I think they might all be in this one room, actually. Um, although there was that other place to go in. Nothing, wow, seriously? Well, that was really easy. Um, okay. Uh, I'm assuming this will have the door to get that item. I hear you. That was like a Celio, I think. All uh, right, here we have a big pearl. Excellent. These uh, big pearl and star piece will help pay for all the repels I'm using just because I really don't feel like actually dealing with this place right now. Can't dive into any of this, so don't need to worry about that. And then over here we have another item. It is a rare candy. That is nice, even though I haven't really been using them. Though I probably should, I guess. And now, actually, I should have grabbed that before heading down here, because I may end up having to use another repel, though I really hope I don't. Come on. I just want to go in there. Is that... All right, fine. I should have I should have just said no and used a regular repel. But honestly, I, this is probably the only time I'm ever actually going to bother to use my repels. Oh, that's not even a hole in the wall. Well, that really does look like one. I guess that's the top of an entrance from... Uh from when there's not water, so. Oh, hey, shell salts and shell shells, and enough of them too. Would you like me to uh, Would you like me to make you a shell bell with them? Yeah, already then I'll make you a shell bell right away. There, done. Wow, that was quick, didn't even have to fade to black. It's that easy, why can't I do it myself? Have a Pokemon hold on to that, I love it, that's for certain. Why the shell bells chime? It's simply sublime. You can get more shell salt and shell shells here every day, so I can always make more, and I'm not quite sure what this is, but I got this recently. If you like, please take this too. And you get the slow bro night. I accidentally spoiled this for myself when just checking how many shoal salts and shoal shells there are. Jeez, that is hard to say. Yes, this is how you get the slow bro night, which is really cool considering slow bro is one of the coolest megas of Auras in my opinion. Planning on going deep in there? How about bring the other You just say that again. All right, so let's check out the uh, shell bell. Uh, that is the one that every time you do damage, you gain back some HP, which can be useful, but, like, you should have the Swampertite. You're gonna end up with the Agronite. You'll end up with the Gardevoirite. You... I don't even know what I'm gonna do with you. You probably gonna stick with the Silk Scarf, and you, um... I don't know, probably, like, Muscle Band or something. Who really knows? Anyway, that's it for, um... Shoal Cave. We are now completely done with it, which is nice. And we have, um, I guess it's time to take on the gym. I don't really think there's much else we can do. Um, dang it. I, come on. I know for certain there is one thing 
that I have been neglecting to do that I could go back and do, but the problem is I don't really want to... I like, I don't really want to like fly and deal with it, so I'll probably not going to do it just yet. But we'll get to it with time. All right, so let me go heal real quick, and no, we're not going to use another pot. I wonder how many of those I even have left. Hopefully, hopefully enough to get me through um, later areas if I need them, like surfing and diving and stuff. Um, which, speaking of which, we will get dive soon, which means we're finally gonna have a physical water move on, on, uh, Beefcake, and that will be amazing. So, really, it's time to take on the gym. Alright, here we are inside. This actually looks really cool. Uh, I'll pull the area nav out, I guess. Why not? What do you got? Yo, how's it going, champ to be Orlando? Gym leaders here use psychic type Pokemon. If you go up against them with fighting or poison type Pokemon, they'll do horrible damage to your Pokemon. They come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. And let's see. Can I? Please? Please? Thank you. Uh, Super City Pokemon Gym. Certified trainers. Wally. All right. Liza and Tate are the leaders. So Wally's already won. As you can see, there's kind of like this glowing path, so you can step on it, and it will float you along the way it's showing. Um... Now, Beefcake is going to be very useful uh, alongside Tychomycin against the, uh, the actual gym leaders because Surf will target both of them and Tychomycin will resist it, unlike anyone else on our team. Um, we'll go with EDM just because EDM now has Crunch and we haven't tried it out, so I don't think we've actually even used EDM since he evolved, so we'll try him out now. Battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win! Yeah, I mean... I guess, Preston. And you have Kadabra, that is fine with me. Now, is a Stab Boom Burst um, stronger than a Super Effective Crunch? Because it might. It might be. Wow, level 42. I am not over-leveled at all. That is good. Uh, crunch. 80 becomes 160. And this becomes 210. Plus Silk Scarf gives it another 21. So this becomes 231, whereas this is 160. So actually, Crunch is not even as strong as Boom Burst unless Boom Burst is resisted. Which I'm trying to think, is there anything that would even resist Boom Burst but also be weak to Crunch? Not much. Honestly, I'm gonna go for it just because it's physic- Oh my. Okay. I mean, that- Well, at least, um, now I'm glad I didn't go for Boom Burst, because that would have been a waste of a turn. But also, I was just thinking Crunch is physical, so this should still one-shot, and it did. So, good play there. Tactical going for, um, uh, roleplay to dodge the Boom Burst, but too bad I still had Crunch. I lost. I must temper my spirit again. Ah, oh, so close to 1337. The indecisive lose. That's my warning to you. Alright, so we can't even head back. We can take the main path. Please, come on. And there we go. Press this button, and that will swap that path to be forward and to the right. And I'm guessing we'll, yep, activate this lower path. So now we can take this one around. It's a little bit slow, but what are you going to do? Uh, we come to here. We have the next trainer. I can't get enough of the way... Bleh. I can't get enough of the way you go floating up softly in this gym. Um, okay, cool. I mean, it's kind of cool. I like the, uh, Psychic Gym, Psychic Joshua. Like, also, I like the seventh gym, the psychic one in X and Y, um, more, actually. I mean, obviously, I haven't completed this puzzle, so there could be some cool twist to it. Um, but, like, that, that gym, the Anastar City gym, is my favorite gym puzzle of any game. It's just so, so cool. I don't know, the whole concept of, like, the teleporting and, like, the way the, the thing... Oh man, I can't even explain it. The way... The way that this... Like, when you step in and you step on that middle thing, how the whole whole gym, like, folds, because it looks like a room, and then it folds out, and it's actually a, uh... It's actually the... I don't know, man. That's so cool. I should have gone for a Shadow Ball, because... Well, actually, no. I think a, um... Hacking Pressure? Alright, well, if this raises one of your defenses... Uh, um, Oh. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! That's useless, because I have Aerial Ace. Oh, man. Thank you. See, if I had Air Slash, I probably would just be missing non-stop, because even without the Evasiveness boost... Not 100% accurate. Oops, I gave you a soft match, too. Um, I don't really want to know about that, but okay. Are the traps here some kind of superpower? Is this the latest technology? Uh... I mean, probably Psychic Power, because this is Pokemon, but, like, 
Ooh, so we have two ways to go. We can head up there or down here. This is a Hex Maniac, so... This is actually... Oh, I can't head... What? Oh, I guess the front path leads to there. Alright, we're gonna take on the Hex Maniac first. So we'll go this way, and then this will take us up to her. There we go. I'm from Mount Pyre. Taste the Pokemon... T taste the... Oh, God. Taste the power of my Pokemon, and I have attained to the place where spirits of Pokemon slumber. Uh, why did I say that? Okay. Hex Maniac Kindra. Are you sure it's not Kindra? Well, I was gonna say you would have ghost types, and then Crunch would actually be more useful than Boomburst. That's one Pokemon that will be weak to dark, but not not take more damage from Boomburst. But, of course, you just had to come in with Psychic Fairy, which is, like, the opposite of ghost, I guess, in a way. Um, let's try out Boomburst, then. Oh, man, I think they changed the animation slightly for Max and Y, but look at how powerful that is. It's insane. I don't understand why they made it so much more powerful than, um, the other... Grumpig is pure psychic. Than the other, um... You know, like, they weakened Hydro Pump and those moves, but then they just gave... They gave, a uh, They made this new move, Boom Burst, that's just incredibly powerful. Like, I mean, I don't mind. I like Boom Burst, and I like a lot of the Pokemon that use it. I used a Noivern in X and Y. It's actually one of my favorite X and Y designs. Power Gem... Nice, nice. Not even dropping, not even doing a sixth. Good job, Beowulf. And that's down for Grumpig, and we defeated Kindra. Who really sounds too close to Kindra, honestly. So powerful. Yeah. And Mount Pyre, where the spirits of Pokemon slumber, overflows with psychic and ghost power. So how come you only use psychic types? And this is just going to bring me back up here. So yeah, it's a good thing I went and fought her. There we go. Oh, so you don't even have to press in the direction, just step on that little thing. Um, Alright, well, let's take you on. Ooh, watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Arr! Sometimes I'm out of sync. Okay. Uh, Fritz, <laughs> I get it. Now, if I sound any different, that's just because I am using a different pair of headphones. My old, my uh, previous pair is actually... Um, slightly broken one of the one of the like the left ear i have to like i have to wiggle around the cable in order for it to actually be audible what is power to do? share power register what what does that even do i mean i'm assuming that like average it's like pain split but with our attacking stats but i get the crit nice i wonder if i needed that crit to take it out edm gross level 41 all across the board and Starmie, yes, we will switch to Tech Mycin. Uh, this is risky because I just realized I'm a lot slower and I'm gonna get hit with a psychic move. That was really stupid. Uh, but I was saying, yeah, I'm using a different pair of headphones just for a while while the old pair is getting fixed, just because this way I can... I don't have to, like... Oh, Alright, that's fine with me. Now, if I don't one-shot, I'll feel stupid for not going for Spore. But something tells me I will. Nice. Alright. Swift actually did a sizable amount of damage. Anyway, so until the, um, my, my headphone cable gets fixed, I'll be using a slightly different pair, which just means I may be able to talk into the mic a bit more. It doesn't affect the mic, but I just, I don't, since I don't have to sit at a certain angle, it'll be easier to talk into the mic better, so the Pokemon battles, battling skills are out of sync, too. And then, of course, once the regular pair is fixed, I will sound a bit better again. Pokeball was too over the lift, but this dust bunny, whoa! I'm not cheating, I didn't blow on it, honest. That's pretty funny. And activating this is going to send that path forwards. Okay, so, all right, so I see. You can get down to go to the Hex Maniac if you wanna head back, or you can take this across. Ooh, that's creepy. Um, go with Go with Visitor, because she has Shadow Ball and won't fear ghost types. As long as you actually have ghost types, I'm getting an ominous feeling about you. Eh, hey, ominous, ominous win! Ghost type move, ghost types. Yes, do it. Come on, I trust you, Hex Maniac Patricia. Chime ago. I mean, whatever. It, I, You know what? I don't know why I'm expecting ghost types in a psychic gym. I am really stupid. 
I guess that's what happens when you don't play Pokemon for like a week and a half, but whatever. And ooh, man, just barely didn't get the one shot. We are getting the special defense drops though. Extra sensory is kind of scary, ooh, especially with my really low special defense. That hurt a lot. Um, I I know I'm faster for sure, so let's go for Aerialize. That'll take it out. Unless, of course, she healed, but regular gym trainers are not going to heal, typically. So we gain some experience. I knew I would lose. You're a bad omen. If you knew you'd lose, why'd you battle me? I wonder if Liza and Tate are okay. Why wouldn't they be? Uh, okay, can't go anywhere from here. That should take us... Alright, yep. And that's gonna take us to the gym leaders. Alright, so now we head down here, right? This goes to the trainer we haven't fought, who... Okay. Let me see your talent. Uh, whoa, that... That's, uh... Virgil, you're coming on very quickly there. Kadabra, I'm going to get demolished if I can't one-shot this thing, which I probably can't, but we'll see. Could go for Aerial Ace since it's uh, physical. Ooh, I'm slower than Kadabra. Rip Visitor. Oh man, that sucks. If only we had Bug Buzz and I could actually take on Psychic types, that would be very helpful. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go for Iron Giant just because... He should have Shadow Claw, I think, unless I already got rid of it. I don't know. Yo, he still does. Yo, why did I say I was? Co I combined yeah and no into yo. Awesome. I don't have great special defense, so it's still gonna do a lot. But look at that physical attack. Yo, Shadow Claw actually being useful for once. After having like never used it, and Giraffe Rig. Um. You're only weak to Dark and Bug. Unfortunately, don't have any Bug moves yet. Dark is only on EDM, so even though you're level 41, you'll get some more use just because it is a gym. It is a little bit more difficult than the regular trainers, so it's worth it to go for the uh, safe win instead of worrying about... Uh, instead of worrying about like, even training while we're here. Zen Headbutt, please no flinch. Thank you. I, I could have just gone for Boom Burst, honestly. Probably still would have done more. Yeah, I bet Boomburst would have killed, but oh well. And you're going for Crunch yourself. That's going to do less damage than Zen Headbutt. And yeah, alright. Goodbye, Giraffe Rig. I probably should go back and heal, but I'm pretty confident that with uh, Swamper, especially when I get Swampert, I can take out uh, Soul Rock and Lunatone rather easily. You possess spectacular talent. So I'm not too worried about this double battle. If there are prodigies in the world, then that's what our gym leaders are. However, you may be even more talented than they are. Pfft, I know it. You don't even need to say anything, man. Uh, we already fought you. Uh, this is just gonna take us back to the beginning. I have a really bad feeling that if I leave, it's gonna reset the whole thing, so I'm not going to risk it. I'll just set up my party for the double battle. Um, I should heal. I'm just gonna use some potions real quick. Just contemplating going to restore, but honestly, this is just gonna be the better way since... Multiple Pokemon need healing. Uh, you are good. You could use a Moomoo Milk. But I have a feeling I'm not going to use you in the battle, so I'll just give you a Super Potion since they're cheap. Alright, that should be good. Honestly, it shouldn't take more than one attack, maybe two, if that. Wow, that looks really cool. And we head up here. Hey guys, I triple battle, yeah. Okay, so it defaults to the left one. Uh, I believe that is Tate is the left one, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> Were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? We're twins. We don't need to talk because we can each tell what the other is thinking. All in our minds. <laughs> she looks so cheerful. This combination of ours, can you beat it? Probably. Fusion Ha! <laughs> it's totally what they were going for there. Liza and Tate. You're challenged by leaders Liza and Tate, Lunatone and Solrock. And yeah, this is a prime example of the developers ignoring all the changes that were made in Emerald for the better and just taking Ruby and Sapphire as inspiration as they only have 
Lunatone and Solrock. Um, we'll go for Seed Bomb, just because I know Beefcake will be faster, and that way it'll default to whoever lives. Uh, I think I clicked Lunatone, I wasn't really paying that much attention. Oh, you're going for Solar Beam. Probably should have gone for Solrock then in that case, but honestly, watch this one-shot both of them. No. Oh, dear. Oh, and you're weak to Psychic. That's not good. Oh, you're dead. Oh, wow. I misunderestimated this gym. Huh. Who will be fast enough to take on Solrock? I can't even check what my speed was beforehand. Uh, let's see. You have 180 speed. And you have... 75. Wait, you don't have 180 speed. You have 80 speed. I'll go for Beowulf. I don't think he'll be faster than Solrock, but I can hope. Uh, I can also hope that after a Surf, I'm faster. But just in case, we'll go for... I can go for Dazzling Gleam since it hits both, but come on. All right, well, Beowulf is faster than everyone on the field right now, and yes, that took it out. Excellent, don't have to worry about that Solar Beam. That would have actually been very scary. And now Surf will go in on the Lunatone. Oh, and of course I got a crit on Beowulf. At least it went for Light Screen, so I can take it down next turn. Don't really have much to worry about. I mean, obviously they're going to heal it, but I'll just go for Dig, and then Shadow Ball. Yep, Hyper Potion. Fortunately, I don't want to go for Surf again, just because I don't want to take out Beowulf. Even though it won't, even with a crit, but... Oh, get the special defense drop, which means next turn it's going down for sure. Unless it goes for, like, protect or something, but that would just be annoying. And watch this take it out without even needing to dig because of the special defense drop. It did. Yay! Thank you, special defense drop. Actually, I got quite a lot of those here. And no level ups. Oh, well. Our, our teamwork. 10,800 Poke Dollars. Quite nice. Can't be helped. You won. So take this in recognition. And we get the seventh badge, which is... I have no clue. It's not the soul badge, the mind badge. The mind badge has the power to make all Pokémon up to level 80, including those you've received in, from other people obey you. It also enables Pokémon to use the HM move called Dive. And take this too. Get the TM for Calm Mind, not like that's much use since Beowulf already knows it. Calm Mind comes from relaxing and your mind and concentrating. Pokémon Special Attack and Pokémon Special Defense will be heightened by this move. It's a perfect move for Psychic-type Pokémon. Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger than the bond we share as twins. But you'll go on from here to form even more bonds. That's the future I see for you. Ionic or Covalent? There may be a harsher deal ahead for you and your Pokemon, but that's alright. You and your Pokemon aren't alone. You have each other. That's why we want you to face whatever troubles may come your way. Head on and full of courage. And I'm assuming this will teleport me back to the beginning if I can actually step on it. Yep. Alright, what you gotta say, man? Wow, you're astounding. You're one great trainer. And... Uh, I'm assuming we get no rest. No, didn't think so. Whoa, what is that? Holy cow. I have... I mean, I've never actually seen this before. What? A pillar of light appeared from the sea. That direction. Is that the direction of Route 128? Whoa, dude, seriously, dude! This is the end of the world. Skinny, don't worry. Calm down. Why didn't Steven say anything? So mysterious. And this song is awesome. Oh, wow. Route 120. Wow, this is so cool that they're doing this cinematic. Oh my god, this is awesome. Whoa, that was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? The big fat pillar of light. Totally came out of here, didn't it? Exposition. Oh, there he goes. Oh man, Steven's running. That looks so cool. Orlando! I heard from little Tate, Liza and Tate that you visited the gym. How? I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area, but then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Oh. Steven. Senpai. <laughs> oh my god, this cinematic stuff is so cool. Ah, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Now, where to begin? Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now. The eardrum rupturing the explosion we heard. There proof that a seal, which was long hidden deep under sea, has been undone at last. 
super engine Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since ancient times. It slept until now in the seafloor cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon from ever breaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of that terrible team has undone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to revive the super engine Pokemon, and once they do so, it seems they hope to make its power their own. Orlando. If that team obtains the power of the super engine Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in this world. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell this situation. That is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I'm asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Lend me a hand. Lend me your strength to help to put a halt to these teams' mad ambitions. What do you mean, these teams? Have we seen Team Aqua? I mean, we must have. They are in the game, but like... I don't know. That seems like a typo. With you and I and our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome this disastrous turn of events. I don't think it is out of the question. I will entrust you with this. Yay, we get Dive! Now I just have to go back and delete Rock Smash. <clears throat> if you use Dive, you will be able to dive to the ocean floor with your Pokemon. And take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. Devin Scuba Gear. Hey, it actually makes sense why we can go underwater. If you were to use Dive in the correct stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance to the seafloor cavern. I will join you when I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Aqu Aqua and Team Magma until then. This is just lazy writing. It's just Team Magma. I'm trusting you to do this for me. And we just go back to regular music. All right, well, that was intense, to say the least. Um, We did get our new badge. That is not how you view badges. Yeah, come on. There we go. All right, so we got our new badge, the Mind Badge, from Eliza and Tate. And we just have one more badge to get from Wallace. So, yeah, uh, I guess that does it for this part. In the next episode, now that we have Dive, we will go um, teach that probably to Swampert over Rock Smash, unless we, of course, need Rock Smash in the Undersea Cavern, which would suck, but I could always get rid of Dig since I have the TM for it, but we'll figure that out next time, all right? And before heading off to the Seafloor Cavern, of course, we have a lot of well, not a lot. We have a couple of places to go back to now that we have Dive, all right? See you guys next time.